Hello everyone, how are y'all doing today? So today we are going to do a planner check-in, budget check-in, whatever you want to call it. This is my monthly section here in uh, A5 size. It's the Erin Condren um, inserts that I got from uh, her store when I was there last month. Um, and I'm going to keep this really simple. There is no stickers on here. It's just pen, pencil, and that's it. So uh, for the little squares, I use this stencil. I've had it for quite a few years. I will link it below because I get asked about it a lot. And uh, it is on Amazon. So what I did is I just listed all the bills on here. The hubby does have a business, so he has to pay quarter taxes. That does not apply to my budget but it is something that i need to try to remember and since this is my planner i want to make sure that's in here um the hubby sends me money on the 28th of the month so i put that there at the bottom and the rest are bills i do have one more bill that uh it's going to start this month but i don't know exactly when um we he did we did decide to get amazon and um, we did it on the personal side instead of the business side. It, I think it's going to be about $14, $15, but I'm going to try to budget $16 just to be on the safe side in case there's taxes until we get that figured out. Um, like I said, we did get it last month, but I don't know when the 30 days is. Um, so I can use it, he can use it, and it's easier to just transfer it back and forth with that so that is the monthly uh section there for the budget i am using the erin condren budget inserts they're very simple where i had to pretty much fill everything in i did change uh one uh title i guess you would say and i added those two um i this is this inserts definitely different um, and I'm going to have to get, figure out how to use it for income. Uh, I do have the hubbies, $800, the renter. We have one gentleman that's, uh, in one of the rooms in the back. We have two rooms. We're only renting out to him. Um, and he takes care of the property here for us while the hubby is out working. And, you know, he makes sure everything's running smoothly. So we charge him $400 and then we wanted to make sure we had enough money to survive. So we do have a Rob, Robin Hood uh, investment account that we use and we've been investing in there for quite a few years. So uh, we're going to start drawing out 300 just to try to make it. Now this is only for the household bills and whatever I need or the house needs. Um, Hubby has his own stuff going on. The renter has his stuff. Everyone is contributing food. So uh, my food bill or the food bill that's on here, it's only mine. The gas is only mine because the hubby has all that on his business side. So um, in case the numbers are really off, uh, that is what's going on. We, I'm hoping to increase this income maybe I will start looking for a job. Otherwise, uh, I will try to sell some stuff on Facebook Marketplace or Poshmark. I'm gonna try to list a few things on Poshmark to get a to get a little extra income here, so we can start uh, investing and save. Well, saving mainly. We want to try to build up an emergency fund. So for housing, we have the electric, home insurance, and then home maintenance. Uh, home insurance and home maintenance. We won't be use it up uh, adding anything to that just yet i need to figure out the numbers a little more but electric is a uh, one that we will do this month utilities i like i said i'm getting a hang of this we have the cable the f alarm phone our cell phones uh internet and then the amazon prime right there allowance is the hubbies and mine we're each getting twenty dollars that's a week and I'll just add it up for the month and put it in there until we figure it out. Transportation, I do have my Jeep. Last month I had it uh, 
gave it a tune-up, I guess that's what you call it, make sure it's running because it hasn't ran in two years. And I took care of that all last month. So uh, I go to grocery shopping once a week. I'm hoping to change that up in the future and go maybe three times a week instead of weekly. But um, for now, it's going to be that. So when I go grocery shopping, I also get gas. So we're going to have a gas bill that week. Maintenance, it's not very much. It's just oil changes, tires, uh, things like that, and insurance. Uh, we pay that every six months, but it may change dependent on our um, income and how much we can afford to do. For sinking funds, we have trash, the butane elect, uh, septic, the P.O. box. I did reopen our P.O. box. It's in a, like 15 miles from here is the closest one. So I did open that up. Then we have clothes because if I get a job, I might have to find a few uh items new clothes to not new but new to me things to wear and then haircuts we don't do that very often but the hubby does get a haircut every three four months i get one about every six months maybe and then pet we have food and medical uh if he needs uh anything else i do put it just under food for lucky or the other two that we have outside um for savings I'm going to try to start putting a little in there, and I have a whole section over here for that and investing as well. For groceries, it's uh, and dine out right there. Then for gifts, we have Tide offering, and then I put birthday and gifts. And then entertainment is any miscellaneous or household items. I didn't know where to put those. Those are more like sinking funds. But I put them there. That actually shouldn't even go there. I think miscellaneous should be there. But household, like I say, it's kind of weird where to put these things. But for now, it's going to have to work there. And then savings, we have emergency fund, vacation, Christmas. And then the medical and dinner, dental is what we're going to try to start saving for. We're going to start small. For debt, we do have a little credit card debt. Not very big, it's a few hundred dollars. And then uh, Bank of America. The, uh, that, it's, um, the credit card is, it has a balance, but I use it to pay our household bills. So it's always rotating. So it does not, it does not um, like charge interest because it's always rotating and not at least paying all the new things that I am putting on it. Okay. So this side is a spending summary, and this is for the week of August 28th to September 3rd. Um, today is actually September 3rd. It's late um, in the morning, but I don't plan to go anywhere. So if, if I do, I'll just add it onto this page by the time the transaction's clear, uh, it'll be the next day. So it's fine if it, as long as it's tracked, I guess it's fine. Okay, for on 828, the hubby had his money put in, which is $800. And then the renter gave me his money on September 1st, 400. And I did, on the 3rd, I did a transfer, which is today, and that's 300. So our total income is 1,500. So today I paid the Bank of America, which is also pending, but it'll clear. And that's 245 on August 31st, I went to Walmart and I got groceries, a few things that we needed, and it was 28.17, and then laundry soap and toothpaste and all that stuff. I picked up 28.49 on that. I did gas up my Jeep and it was $24. And then I did get lunch, which was 12.83. And we did go to church Saturday, which was yesterday, last night. Uh, we usually go to church on Saturdays versus uh, Sunday mornings. It just works out better that way. So uh, we did an offering of $12 and then we tied $4, which is off the income, which is only the renter's uh, money. Uh, that's the only income. The other stuff is just transferred money. So that is what we tied off of. And then the hubby allowance and my allowance, we each gave us $20. So what we can do right now and then for emergency fund i put a hundred dollars into a savings account 
I would put $30 on the credit card. I transferred $25 into Robin Hood, and then I put 20 into vacation and 20 into Christmas because uh, the holidays are really close and I want to at least have a little bit put aside for that. And uh, yeah, so that is what this is looking like. I did put lined paper in here in the, I guess you call it a life planner. I'm not sure what you call it, but the uh, actual planner for the A5, it did come with lined paper. I'm thinking of turning it into a sinking fund just so I can keep track of um, all the uh, balances on all the uh, sinking funds that I have, like the vacation and the Christmas. I will have uh, the peel box rent, the trash is every three months, propane. When I looked on my computer, we, we uh, pay it. We have to get uh, propane in November and February. Um, that's what it takes to uh, survive. So, and we do have a big tank. I think it's 250 gallon. So it takes three or $400 to fill that up. So I definitely need to try to start saving for that. And then septic, it's every year. So I have time with that. So is the peel box rent, but I just got that last month. So we should be good for another six months at least. And everything else is okay. But uh, I wanna keep track of those balances so I can make sure I have the money and it doesn't go on a credit card. But anyway, that is what the budget is looking like. Um, I did put washi to kind of separate the things out. It's just this little thin washi. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree, I think, years ago. And I found it and it matched everything here. And then the pens I'm using. I did use a pencil for some of it on the uh, monthly I did use a pencil for all the little squares. And then for the pins, I'm just using friction pins. Um, I don't have a green one in this style. So I have this one, it's also a pilot, but they're just different, um, what do you say, different styles, but it's the same pin. Um, and uh, I will link them below if I can. But that is what the budget is looking like. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any ideas on what else I can add in here, or if you have, anyone does the budget with this thing, this uh, insert here, um, give me some ideas, because this isn't making sense. I can't calculate it. This is more like for the final numbers, and I really would like to do a budget and then, um, have like a budget and then the actual, and this does not really have room for that. Um, if y'all have any ideas on how to use that, let me know. Uh, it does have a row here, and it's for total income, total expenses, the difference, and then the total savings. Um, I didn't even add a buffer in here, and that's another thing, because I may have to change all these uh, headings I did, like I said, I did change this one. Uh, let me look to see what it said. It said health. And um, I actually just did a sink and fund for medical and dental right there. So I changed that to sink and funds. But um, like I said, I may have to change them. And I actually could just draw a little line there and extend this one. Same thing with this one. I may have to do something like that just to try to make, get it to make a little more sense. But anyway, uh, I am stuck with this for the next year and uh, I'm really liking the way it's coming out. Um, I may change it, but uh, we'll see. It worked out just fine this month. And yeah, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and we will talk to y'all later. Bye.